I believe you had just become a Weeblo, and it was a magic, magic night. <laughs> That's when, uh, when I was doing a show for the Fox Network syndicated, and uh, Rupert Murdoch made me cut my hair like uh, a little German choir boy. So yes, I look much younger then. <laughs> Not this accident. Let, now I look so I look so desolate and burnt out. I I can pass for Twitter uh, at parties. So. Uh, yes, hey, yes. hey, hi, John. Yeah, yeah hi. you're still That's on a great Twitter. Picture. It's a great picture, though, Steph. That was a great, great night, and and this leader Pelosi was such a a wonderful guest, and and the the energy of the crowd. You know, I had met her before. Uh, she joined us on that show. I had done some TV shows with her, but honestly, there's no way to measure how many lives she saved by getting the ACA passed in the first place yeah. and by saving the ACA. Her greatest achievement may have been taking all these Democrats in the caucus from the Democratic Socialists to the pro-lifers and keeping them united in message discipline yeah. for the first two years of Trump's term. Yeah, I mean, I, it's hard to you know explain what leadership is. You just know it when you see it. I remember that night because, you know, our filthy little show. It's raucous. Yes, it's a, filthy, it's a show. raucous, filthy. filthy little show. But do you remember? Well, you remember oh, by the what way, you can see it on pay per view, folks, if you go to meethook.live. But go on, please. Yes. Um, no, but I just remember that night, don't you, that when she came out, I mean, you could have heard a pin drop in that theater. Mm -hmm. People just yeah. hung on every word she said. I mean, she just, um, and, you know, as usual, she just had unbelievable, you know, grace and class and timing. I think she did it perfectly, you know, in terms of. Uh, saying it's time for the new generation. She's going to fulfill her term. But, you know, it's not about ego for her. She's not, obviously, she she will be there to, to uh, pass the torch. Oh, yeah. And I will say, though, in fairness, uh, Nancy Pelosi did nothing about crime or inflation by going after Hunter Biden's laptop. I mean, like, there was so many chances she could have gone after his laptop to fight inflation and crime, and she just refused to. So now... I think the real reason she's staying is so she can have a front row seat as Speaker Emeritus to watch Kevin McCarthy's dreams go up in violent, bloody flames. <laughs> it is going to be two years of a clown show and yeah. two years of Democrats saying, oh, by the way, look at all these new jobs from the infrastructure bill we passed. Oh, by the way, have you noticed seniors you're paying lower for prescription drug prices thanks to the IRA? They are going to have a record they can run on that's in play by 2024. Yeah. And Kevin McCarthy is going to give people a great big commercial why you shouldn't trust Republicans you. with your money. Yeah, votes. exactly. He's going to be spending taxpayer money on this. I mean, you made a lot of good points about it on Twitter. You said Benghazi went away the day Trump was elected because you all didn't need to exploit those four dead Americans for votes anymore. Um, and yeah. You, yeah, you said not only are we going to help your struggling family by investigating Hunter Biden, we also solemnly vow to be as p as possible to transgender children. This is exactly everything America just voted against. And you're right, as exhausting as it's going to be for us the next two years, it's going to be another example of wh why they can't govern. Yeah, but it's kind of beautiful. You think about it. The Republican Party took all those billions and billions of dollars from capitalists and redistributed their wealth. It's kind of lovely what they did. I mean, Carrie Lake alone, that's going to get me through a cold winter, watching Carrie Lake, watching Blake Masters have to spread white replacement theory in the private sector. Um, there's so much beauty in these midterms. I have not been this impressed with a population of citizens, as I am with voters this year, since, I don't know, the people of Ukraine. I mean, this midterm keeps on giving and giving and giving. It's been yeah. beautiful. Um, you said from Hillary Clinton's emails to Merrick Garland's SCOTUS seat to Hunter Biden's private images, the modern GOP sure knows how to enjoy stolen merchandise. <laughs> so they have that going. Yeah. For them. Yeah, that, that's it. Uh, they love stolen merchandise, and now they've got to try to extricate themselves. You know when you start seeing somebody new, but you haven't broken up with the crazy person you've been with for the last six years? That's where they're at right now. Donald Trump doesn't know that he's been ghosted, and they're now blindly obedient to Ron DeSantis. So yeah. it's going to be amazing watching this icky transition. I mean, Tiffany's wedding may have been the last happy day of Trump's life, and it was miserable. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but you made a good, that's a good larger point about the whole party and their lack of loyalty. You said, remember how they uh, hated you for criticizing W, then they fell in love with Trump and suddenly dropped W, pretended they were never obedient to W, and hated you for criticizing Trump. Now the fickle fascist love DeSantis, and you better not criticize him, Trump who? Uh, and then you just did the hashtag Magagaga which I know activated your gag reflex. The ga -ga -ga. Yeah. yeah I, 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 wow, I hope they go with that. It's beautiful. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's, and then there's Trump just hobbling out there like Richard III, going, now is the winter of our disarray. 
<laughs> it's just <laughs> we're going to be at war with each other. And here's my thing. Here's my thing. My really unpopular opinion. And I've uh -huh. been I've been talking about it all week at every night on Sirius XM 127 Progress Channel. Hello. Um, I'm really okay with Merrick Garland waiting for Donald Trump to burn down the entire GOP and kneecap Ron DeSantis before <laughs> Merrick Garland does anything. Yeah. I am in. I don't need Donald Trump to go to jail. I know I keep saying this. Yeah. I need him to trash this party and wreck this party and split it in half. Yeah. Yeah. Because no matter how much Mitch McConnell thinks they can um, transition to being DeSantis party, there's going to be millions and millions of Even white men who can't spell your who will stay obedient to Trump. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. I learned things from you I, that I didn't know. You said on Twitter that Ivanka told her dad she had bone spurs. I didn't know that. That's well, yeah, that's how why she, she got out of that. And, uh -huh. know, yeah, yeah. She really wanted to help with this uh, campaign, but she has bone spurs, and her husband's a criminal. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I just want to say we should take a moment and realize that this was the week that Donald Trump and Elon Musk made Kanye West's life choices look really good. I mean, Kanye's <laughs> having a great November so far, thanks to these two guys. Um, yeah, what is, so what is your take on uh, Twitter? We were saying, you know, obviously last night the, we were thinking if the entire, everybody's locked out, I mean, mm -hmm. it might physically shut down, but it obviously didn't. I'm I'm staying. I don't know. You know me. I'm, I'm staying. I'm staying I'm the patron, it doesn't work anymore. I'm the patron saint of lost yeah. causes. I, I I'm staying. Listen, I've, lost, I've lost 15,000 followers in two weeks, thanks to this guy. Uh, but I didn't leave America when the cretins took over this government. I'm not leaving America when the cretins take over Twitter. I mean, the nice thing is that it might be for sale really cheap in a couple of weeks, like being British Prime Minister. <laughs> You never know. Um, I mean, Murdoch bought MySpace for five hundred eighty million, and then sold it for thirty-five million. Yahoo paid a billion for Tumblr, and then let it go for three million. Yeah. So I can't wait to see what Elon does after this. I, I can't wait to see people wanting to buy tickets to fly on a spaceship. This guy made after yeah. seeing how well he handles a website. Now I don't know where you are on the truck. I know you and House Sparks like to fight. And I like to watch because you're both so pretty. But Thank he's you. Hal's always said he's not going to run. A lot of people Hal's are saying always said it. He's all, well, I, I, this I is just Trump, you know. He, yeah, yeah, I didn't think Trump would run when he sold the bribe hole hotel in D.C. That was my indication. <laughs> and Hal has been ferocious on this. You you know he says he's not going to run. So I was a bit surprised. Um, and I have a I have a terrifying theory. It's not really funny. What if Trump is doing this uh, knowing? that a candidacy won't keep him safe from any kind of prosecution, knowing he has no immunity as a mere candidate. But what if his overall game is to get as many delegates as he can, hold the entire GOP hostage, and before conceding and throwing his support to DeSantis, extracting a promise for a pardon? Uh -huh. That could make a lot of sense. And yeah. that might be why he's yeah. doing this. Well, Travis and I have a dream because uh, some listeners said, would you rather have an indicted Trump or third party run Trump? And we big thinkers here said, why can't we have both? Dream big. Why can't we have both? Indicted we in have... prison and a third party run. It could happen. I you know he would run from prison. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And by the way, Ron DeSantis is never going to be more popular than he is now. Like I've, I've been saying for a long time. Ron DeSantis is a greater threat to everything we care about in America than Donald Trump. Trump is done like disco, my friends. It's just he can still hurt people, but he can't appoint more well, judges. He's not going to be able to set more policy. So I, I, I think as awful as Ron DeSantis is, now begins the beautiful period of people listening to Ron DeSantis give speeches yeah. and say, is that it? Uh -huh. That's yeah. their savior? That's yeah, he's a terrible operating? speaker. He's a terrible, terrible debater. Speaker. Yeah. Terrible human being, terrible yeah. Christian. Uh, so, you know, he's really popular among the people who've been wrong about everything this entire century so far. So we, actually, the threat I've heard Trump will make is that they don't have a primary at all. Right. They, either they, you know, coronate him. Crown him or. Right. right. Yeah. Or he'll go third party. Right. Mm, he's yeah. He'll demand they don't have a primary. Huh? Let him try. There will be Republicans who run against him. And by the way, those Republicans will still get votes. Trump's only leverage is threatening third party. That's the only way he can really hurt Mitch McConnell. Because at the end of the day, the Trump supporters are going to vote GOP no matter what. Yeah. They I are. They're going to vote. Who's going to be mean to trans kids? Who's going to take women's rights away? Who's going to have more pollution? Who's going to hate the same Muslims and migrants I hate? And they're going to go with whoever the GOP nominee is. Haters going to hate. Yeah. But uh, I'm really excited about this new troika of Democratic leadership. The, uh, the, the median age of the previous troika was 83. Yeah. Now it's down to 52. Yeah. And again, I hate the ageism, but I think it's really smart for Nancy Pelosi 
and Jim Clyburn and Steny Hoyer to make their announcement yesterday, giving the new team two years to find their legs while all eyes will be on Kevin McCarthy yeah. screwing the place up. I mean, I mean, Stephanie, when when those terrorists attacked our capital and smeared feces on the wall, I had no idea the feces would take a leadership position in the Republican Party, but here we are. <laughs> so it's going to be great. And the best part of it is, Nancy Pelosi stole the Republicans' entire victory lap yesterday in the media cycle. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, can I just close by saying I tried to watch the Jerry Falwell documentary, and it, it, it paled in yeah. comparison to your portrayal of Jerry Falwell Thank in I Sexy Liberal uh, Virtual Tour. Thank you. I went really deep for that Falwell thing, yeah. and I still got a little of him on me. So thank yeah, you for that. You we have the director of that on my show, by the way, uh, Billy Corbin, and it's a really, really good movie on Hulu. People should yeah. watch it because he relates it to all the white supremacy. He relates it to segregation because yeah. Falwell Sr. was a segregationist yeah. who defended apartheid. He relates that pool boy episode right up to what happened with January 6th, and it all works, and it all makes sense, because it is all connected. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked it. I yeah. really liked it. Are you enjoying Mike Pence's new book, So Help Me God? Oh, you know what I'm enjoying? Mm. Trying to figure out who the audience is for Mike Pence's new book. You know, uh, who, who who is the crowd? Fans of Donald Trump who don't like Donald Trump? I mean, Mike Pence's family isn't going to read this book. And media... <laughs> You can stop paying attention to Mike Pence and it won't change anything. The only question about Mike Pence is when he runs for president, will he be able to beat margin of error? Because that's his biggest <laughs> opponent. That's it. it. I mean, it's just what a coward. What a yeah. vicious fake Christian. What a complete fraud. Yeah. And it was kind of nice watching Jake Tapper kind of toy with him the other night. Yeah. yeah. he's. It's going to be bad. I can't wait to see their field. It's going to be all people who are loyal to Trump. They'll be on a debate stage with Trump. And Trump will abuse all of them like they're his children for loving him in the first place. Yep. All right. Pay per view, uh, sexyliberal.com. You can still see John Fugel Saints triumphant performance. Oh, yeah. Along with Glenn Kirshner yeah. and uh, Rob Reiner, et cetera, on really the stage of the uh, Saban Theater. Oh, yeah, it was. You are fantastic. We love you. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Thankful for you. Thanksgiving, guys. I'm uh, thankful for all of you. Listen, I'm really thankful we're all still here. I'm thankful we turned out for democracy and democracy lives to fight another day. Yep. And I'm thankful that. If we're going to care about this country and live this life fighting for marginalized people, fighting for women, fighting for children, immigrants, health care, education, I, I'm really proud of who I'm fighting with. Your no. audience, my audience, yeah. everybody out there who cares enough about America to actually give a damn. It's it was a good time to be the alive. sexy liberal save democracy tour because...